Good evening. Please stand and join me for the Angelus. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now the hour of our death, amen. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now the hour of our death, amen. Pray for us, the Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us 
Let's build a house where love can dwell and all can safely live. A place where saints and children tell how hearts learn to forgive. Built of hopes and dreams and visions, rock of faith. Good evening. Good evening, Father. I welcome all of you as we come together this evening to celebrate this Mass. As we begin, we call on God's mercy and compassion toward us, and we remember that our Mass intention is for Margaret Canale. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your your spirit. spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us call to mind our sinfulness, counting on God's mercy, compassion, and forgiveness toward us. I confess to Almighty God and and to you, you, my my brothers brothers and sisters, sisters, that I have have greatly greatly sinned in my my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, from whom all good things come, grant that we who call on you in our need may at your prompting discern what is right, good, and loving, and by your guidance live it out. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the second book of Kings. Shalmaneser, king of Assyria, occupied the whole land and attacked Samaria, which he besieged for three years. In the ninth year of Hosea, king of Israel, the king of Assyria took Samaria and deported the children of Israel to Assyria, settling them in Hala, at the Haver, a river of Gazan, and the cities of the Medes. This came about because the children of Israel sinned against the Lord, their God, who brought them up from the land of Egypt, from under the domination of Pharaoh Pharaoh the king of Egypt, and because they venerated other gods. They followed the rights of the nations whom the Lord had cleared out of the way of the children of Israel and the kings of Israel whom they set up. And though the Lord warned Israel and Judah by every prophet and seer, Give up your evil ways and keep my commandments and statutes in accordance with the entire law which I enjoined on your fathers and which I sent you by my servants, the prophets. They did not listen, but were stiff-necked as their fathers, who had not believed in the Lord their God. They rejected his statutes, the covenant which he had made with their fathers, and the warnings which he had given them, till, in his great anger against Israel, the Lord put them away out of his sight. Only the tribe of Judah was left. The word of the Lord.
God, you have rejected us and broken our defenses. You have been angry. Rally us. Help us with your right hand, O Lord, and answer us. You have rocked the country and spread it open. Repair the cracks in it, for it is tottering. You have made your people feel hardships. You have given us to fine wine. Help us with your right hand, O Lord, and answer us. Have not you, O God, rejected us, so that you can not go forth, O God, with our, our armies? Give us aid against the foe, for worthless is the help of men. be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, stop judging that you may not be judged. For as you judge, so will you be judged. And the measure with which you measure will be measured out to you. Why do you notice the splinter in your brother's eye, but do not perceive the wooden beam in your own eye? How can you say to your brother, let me remove that splinter from your eye, while the wooden beam is in your eye? You hypocrite, remove the wooden beam from your eye first. Then you will clearly, you will see clearly to remove the splinter from your brother's eye. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. By the word of God. At the final judgment, the conduct of each and the secrets of hearts will be brought to light. That's what the Catechism states and what Scripture states. It is God's prerogative alone to judge, right? Our task is to be companions to our neighbors, to our brothers and sisters, even their guides. That's what is set before us, not judgment. But sometimes we can easily forget these simple truths and psychologically, we're quick to see the faults in others, right? I know I am. And even to magnify those faults in them because I see in them my own faults, right? My own faults. And we can't even, even in our minds think that surely they are worse than we are, right? And it makes us feel better about ourselves, or can. We aren't so bad. It's fallen human nature to want to see a plank in the eyes of others so that ours looks like a splinter. That's dangerous. Perceiving ourselves better than others, we can grow lax in our pursuit of holiness, thinking we're doing okay. 
compared to most. We're doing okay. But God doesn't have a scoreboard in heaven, us versus them. Besides, why do we think that we can judge the heart better than God, who alone knows the heart? Even Paul didn't judge himself. He said, I'm not aware of anything against me, yet I don't even judge myself, right? That's God's prerogative. He sees the heart. We do not. St. Anthony of the Desert said, We are often deceived as to the motives of actions. The judgment of God, who sees all things, is another thing from ours. But it is right that we should suffer one with another and bear one another's burdens. End quote. Judge not, love much. Let us seek to remove the plank from our own eye. If we are not progressing in holiness, how can we hope to lead others there as well? It is a saying in the church, and it's true, that saints make saints. We examine our own hearts first. But we have no hope of leading others to a closer relationship with Christ. We don't know what to tell them. We won't know how to see in them where they're struggling. We won't have the answers for them unless we're seeking holiness in our own lives. Saints make saints. So let's always strive to remove the plank from our own eye. God bless you. Please stand. Lord God, at this time we place before you once again our many prayers and hopes and aspirations for not only this day, but every day of our lives and for our families, our community as a whole, and the universal church. For the church, that she might be the leaven of love and forgiveness in the world, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For those who have authority in the church, that they might sincerely seek to serve all the people under them and not be corrupted by their power. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For those who have been trusted with worldly authority, that they might use it to further peace and harmony in the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For those who are despised for any reason, that they might, that they might come to know God's love for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For ourselves, that we may experience the forgiveness of God in our own lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. And for the sick of our community, Deacon Ken Nickel, Father Mark Kennedy, Richard Laughlin, Juan Macias, Eleanor Squara, Irene Havelka, Tim Stoner, Bob Puff, Eugenia Harms, Ricardo Salinas, Jose Angel Morales, Morales Jerry O'Neill, the Lain family, Joe Jimenez, Polly Robb, and John Cardenas. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For those who have died, Simone Ramos, Claudette Bowden, Clayton Paul Cormier, Jesus Nuncio Jr., Delia Carillo, Bartolome Alvarez, Anita Branch, Margarito Ramirez, Hermenia, Herminia Bruno, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, we place all of these prayers into your loving hands and at your feet, asking that in humility as we do ask, that we may receive the gift that you give, even when it's not what we expect, that we may be open-hearted and minded in each way, and we pray this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept a sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Look kindly upon our service, O Lord, we pray, that what we offer may be an acceptable oblation to you and lead us to grow in charity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all of the angels and saints, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God, God of hosts, hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes in the name, name of the Lord. Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the in highest. highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Gustavo, our Archbishop, Michael, our Auxiliary, and all clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And the peace of the Lord is with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. And we pray with those that are joining us online this act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. May your healing work, O Lord, free us, we pray, from doing evil and lead us to do what is right, just, and loving. And we ask this all through Christ our Lord. Amen. Just a couple of announcements. Uh, First of all, over the next couple of Mondays, meaning next Monday and the following Monday, we'll be having confirmations during this Mass, the 630 Mass, and so we just want you to know that if you come, it'll be a lot of people, and it will also uh, be the regular Mass of the day, but we're doing it that way because we have to divide out the kids in order to do, uh, what is it called, social distancing again, okay? So just know that if you come. Um, Another announcement is that the Life team uh, generally goes out of town to Kansas City, or other places to their leadership conference, and uh, they're having it local at our new property so they can social distance as well. There will be 12 teams on that and the leadership team that is preparing it, so we ask you to pray for them and for the success of it on a local basis. Let us bow our heads and pray God's blessing. Heavenly Father, you teach us not to judge others, but to accompany them and love them in every way. We ask that indeed you may transform our hearts and our minds to live in that way, setting aside judgment and living freely as sons and daughters of yours together. And we ask this blessing, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Oh.